New tonight, 2 News has uncovered Salt Lake City's plan to keep firefighters and police officers from leaving the city for more money and better benefits elsewhere. Yeah, Jim Spiewak is live in Salt Lake tonight. Jim, you found out that it's going to take the city a while to try to figure out how competitive they really are when it comes to hiring and keeping the best people on the force. And eventually the thought is better paid first responders can keep neighborhoods like the one I'm standing in right now, which has seen a recent uptick in crime just a little bit safer. 911, what is the address of your emergency? When 911 is called, taxpayers expect action. Tamara Wharton's Salt Lake City neighborhood is home to several recent crimes. You don't want to train somebody, pay them low wages, and then they leave us. To prevent that from happening, leaders at City Hall will begin a new study to find out how competitive the pay and benefits are for firefighters and police officers. We are currently hiring. It is difficult. Matthew Rojas is a spokesperson for the city. Is there a concern that over the next few years there is going to be an outflow of firefighters and police officers in Salt Lake? So there's always, uh, you know, uh, there's always a concern that especially our public safety officers will move to other agencies as they see uh, compensation being better. Rojas says a similar study was done in 2015 to compare pay to other big cities. He says Seattle, Washington was used as a comparable. And when you look at the cost of living, we're, we're pretty similar to them. But according to a recent survey of first responder salaries by USAWage.com, Seattle ranks in the top 25 across the country. Salt Lake doesn't even make the top 100 list. Salary studies and salary comparisons are a form of data that really help ensure that we are paying our employees fairly and appropriately. And that's welcoming news. People are putting their lives on the lives line to serve our community. For one taxpayer who sees firsthand what first responders are worth. And the city has instituted a 3% salary increase earlier this year. They now have three weeks to decide who is going to be commissioned to do this study. And once they start, there's no timetable for when it will be completed, but we'll certainly follow up and let you know what happens. If you would like to see a list of what first responders, both firefighters and police officers broken down by position make right now, I've put a link over on our website, KUTV.com. Guys, back to you. All right, Jim, thanks.